Welcome to Starfinder The Fragments of Eternity, session 59. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 6th of July, 2020. Here are the players. Hello, this is Don Wilson! Oh, uh, no. Hi, this is Colin. I will be playing Lyco Crint. He's, uh, what happened to Don? Your... He died. Oh. Uh, sad Rip Don. F in chat for Don. Diabetes. Um... Yeah, uh, operative, um, spooky man, and just all round guy, just a real dude. Hi, hi. I am a real dude also. I'm Nico, and the not so real and well, probably about as real as real could be at this point. <coughs> I'm playing Zora. I'm Alex, and I'm not sure if I'm real or not anymore. You put me down a rabbit hole now, mm. both of you. Yeah. But I guess I'll be weird. Mm. Okay. He's, there. He's an android mechanic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello. I am Callum. And I this is a fact. It's actual. And I'll be playing Zig, Commodore of the Burning Sun. Yes. <laughs> Commodore of the Burning Sun. I just got the I image of you putting a saddle that. on the actual sun. That sounds kind of fash to me. I don't like it. Mm. Where is the boundary between RP and reality? No. Um, so, one second. Alex, come back to his Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to my therapist about that the other day. And, uh, no. Uh, continue. <laughs> oh, but is cereal a soup? I mean, yeah, right? It is. Actually, kind of a soup. Right. No. In fact, it depends on how much cereal to milk ratio. <laughs> what is the ideal cereal to milk ratio? I don't know, man. I kind of like. like um, two one. parts milk to one part cereal. I kind of like one part, man. I don't volume. like two milky cereal. I kind of like. I so, see. Just... I like drinking the milk out the bowl last I think so that, um,. Twenty. I was going to say a soup is defined by stock. According to Nick, it was the stock or yeah. water, but it's also defined partly by some like some aspect of boiling meat, fish, or vegetables. So, okay, this is not soup, then. and I don't think cereal is any of those. Yeah, but what about a soup with good, barley in it? Um, a good barley soup. Yeah. Mm. That. Is it only that. barley in the soup, though? My one is. So is that I, I don't like I don't know if that is soup then. <laughs> I think that is just barley that water. Be raw. Porridge. <laughs> <laughs> of some sort. It, it might just be a brew, right? A brew. Um, oh, so I've made the tea. A I think lumpy so. Tea. Lumpy tea. No, if it's um, not actually got chai in it, it's an infusion rather than ah, tea. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> also <laughs> that, right? Um, so barley infusion. It's not a broth because a broth is a soup consisting of uh, meat oh, okay. or vegetables cooked in stock, sometimes thickened with barley or other cereals. Okay. And there's our answer. Now this cereal is a broth. Uh, what about mushroom soup? That's not got vegetables in it. It's got mushrooms in it. Mm. True. There are no vegetables in that. Um, interesting. Ah, but if you're using like your like core bot stock things, do you use vegetable stock or do you use different stock? Or do you just let the mushrooms create its own stock? I think you just put the mushrooms in a blender. Yeah, I need to talk to the uh, to their parents in law about that one. I'm pretty sure the ones at Strathy, that's basically what they did. And mm -hmm. you know what? It's one of the few mushroom soups I liked because the mushroom is extremely fine and I struggled with textures. Yeah, we had a very oh, crisp mushroom, mushroom soup at Christmas. It was just like pure see through brown crystal clear well i've It'll typed in nice. i've typed in is mushroom soup a soup and i have had zero results that are related to that question and just lots of a uh, recipes and lots of is mushroom soup good for you so um, I mean, are you allergic yeah. to mushrooms <laughs> depends on the mushroom mm -hmm. yeah you don't want to like yeah. have like Mush mushrooms a broad category <laughs> Oh, you know, alligator soup depends on the size of the alligator. Mm -hmm. Chop it depends on oh, the size of your alive pot. or not. Yeah. 
Mm. I don't know what stage you're at with the alligator. Mm. Okay, well that was five <laughs> minutes of um, non-game no, I mean, related nonsense, so... That's so, where um, my existential terror goes. If you enjoyed this, please follow her. <laughs> please like and subscribe and fuck off. But only so you can I mean, find your way back. Yeah. Look, as soon as we've got your views, we don't care. Wow! Let's say this game is the stereotype. Colin does, doesn't care, but I care. And I care that Colin doesn't care, and that Callum does care. And that is a whole load of caring. Yes, that you could access for our highest level Patreon. Um, but anyway, what do you guys remember from last time? We're gonna get noodle soup. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> Uh, they, made just... a, they made a blender bot. Alice yeah. is not pregnant. Yeah. I don't know if they is his appropriate pronouns. Uh, I don't like to assume, but he did make a blender. Uh, one... <laughs> it's simply worse. You know what? I'm sticking with it. Fuck it. We're going, <laughs> we're going down that hole. It definitely made a blender bot. Or two? Or did you it. just take the second one? It took the second one. Yeah, yeah. Despite the, the protestations of... Um, Everyone. Yeah, I mean, technically, well, I Michael and the captain statement. did give CC the thumbs up on that one. Technically, fuck you, guy. <laughs> wow. Well, actually, um, I think you'll find that um, Michael gave the thumbs up and the captain was like, yeah, yeah, I'll give the thumbs up too. And then, uh, yeah, that, that's how the story happened. See, who said you couldn't roleplay? Um, <laughs> everyone? <laughs> My mum, she says it's bad for me. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, is she wrong? Uh, no. Okay. Let's pray for you. At least we own our Satan worshipping ways these days. Mm -hmm. uh, praise Satan, I think. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes, praise Hail be upon him. Prince of all flesh. <laughs> <It's now laughs> flesh soup, or more of a broth. Um, our humans <clears> are soup. <clears throat> Uh, are humans a soup? The greatest. Thing. I mean, I suppose <laughs> anything can be a soup. Guys, this is what uh, running a game for like nigh sixty sessions uh, does to you <laughs> and your players. I think um, the greatest it's is the universe you like they cannot reach sixty. Don't do it. <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> these questions. fucking people? What do you mean these fucking <laughs> questions? To be fair, yes, soup is important. Um... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what I else happened? It's soup. Uh, sorry, um, it's a stock it's cube long. at that point, right? <laughs> um. <laughs> a lot more talk of who's gone where and stuff, and we decided who's gone where. Mm -hmm. and That's that true. Been like, oh, Alice and CC <laughs> gone to versus, and everybody else to the sun. <laughs> Good song. Uh, um. Eskate's a rat. She's getting Esk called Eskate again. She's not Isabel anymore. She's just there. Eskate a girl. Yep. Wait, you don't know this yet. I don't, but out of character, she's a rat. She's I pulled rank over her. <laughs> Sorry, Zig. It's fine. No, it's fine. I get it. <laughs> wow. We've uh, we've cut our, 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 our associ uh, associations with rats. Wow. Um, Yusoki are higher than rats, okay? Rats yeah. are rats. That might only be a height thing, though, buddy. Like, that might be uh, purely. Rats are rats. Wow, wow. That's just in zips are broths and rats are rats. Our uh, rats are rats. Our standards are high. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and what's a canteen antics? I think that's basically it, really. Uh, we're all the captain now. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm tier one, but I don't I mean, forget I am tier two. Mm -hmm. yep. Admiral above. Weird and Commodore Zigger are going off yep. into into the, the the world to well the worlds to to go to the sun. Yep, that is I think th that's more or less correct. I think that is yeah. Does anybody get anything they think is missing from that particular catch up? Not in the think. slightest. Uh, oh, not that I can think of. Uh, Captain got lost. That's about it. Uh, what you speak about that? I was exported. Okay, exported. <laughs> uncharted territories. <laughs> exactly. Uncharted ship. Day five in the uncharted ship. 
Zora yeah. has had an argument with the door for 40 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's fucking likable. Well, I've never <laughs> argued with the door. No, he's only passive aggressive to me. See. An argument requires <laughs> participation in both halves. The, the door ignores you then. You Sorry, can I just want that? I saw it. Let, let me try that again. Could you see that again, Isaac? <laughs> I can't try to remember what I said word for oh, word fuck. now. Damn it! Um, we screwed. I go for distinguished as well as it does not repeat the piece, but all the time on real roll wells where I had to break out the wall. Mm -hmm. It's. Yeah. Fuck your chicken strips! So, anyway. Besides uh, Colin in general, the. Um, oh, oh, the best smoothie in the world! Oh, a Colin? No, that, that was. Weird yeah, made no. good smoothies. I oh, made yeah. something. And bad smoothies, and basically every kind of smoothie you could imagine. Yeah. And less. But was it a soup? And no. a lot less. Uh, yes. Excellent. There you go. Um, right. See, so we're playing Let's fast and loose with the definitions now. How oh dare you? You asked a question, I answered the question. Oh I mean, no, I like this new soup labelling committee we've come up with. I've yeah. People bring us their products and we say yes or no. Uh, we could yes. uh, coin some kind of naming system for the soup thing. You know, if it's fast and loose, soup it's like bowling um, for soup. Oof. You know? Is this yeah. soup, is it not? You know? I think that yeah, I was just going to declare it's the Soup Defence League. Okay, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, muscling on that space. S soup Force 5 is another one. I uh, still think superfluous. Force. Superfluous is good. I like yeah. it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, National Association of Super Accreditation. <laughs> <laughs> the branding is all there. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, we'll billions the, in funding. Would it be the UK Independence Soup Labeling Party? Um, <laughs> if we're going there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, goals. So, also, every you just need to edit out every like five minute chunk every six minutes to get rid of all the soup content. The way I'd like to think about it is that this soup conversation is like the stock for the Starfinders. <laughs> 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 chunky, chunky goodness. Just for ruin, man. No, yeah. only is that wrong? Oh dear. It's quite possibly illegal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goes. Yeah. Goals. Uh, it's probably <laughs> self-sustaining revenue. I might change that to like, uh, like retrieve Ivan. Mm. I mean, I'm on God of Versus, right? Sure. Uh, cool. Uh, I mean, you've got a bunch of ones here, right? So, like, do you, do you really think hook up with junk rats is going to happen? Well, at this very moment, I mean, that could. What's be more likely than establish self-sustaining revenue or hook up with junk rats? I mean, I could maybe try something here, but I don't know if it will be... I don't know, it's just, that's the way to think about goals, right? What's more likely to be completed? Uh, I mean, or I what's could, off the table, right? As well. I guess like, I could maybe find an avenue here, maybe it would come across, but, like, for now, I guess, but, I guess, aye. <laughs> <laughs> this was a journey. Um... Oh my god, it just all connected that day. Oh, it's now established self sustaining soup. That, I guess, that's what it's going to be. <laughs> right, I'm going to do it. self sustaining revenue. Can we, can we make number three? Let me like, get his eye in that soup. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> probably. No pick! Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Our spreadsheet king is back, baby! <laughs> Never again. Right. Right, okay. Uh, Holy so shit. Terror. Retrieve Ivan. Can we retrieve Ivan in there? No, is Ivan a soup is not a valid retrieve Ivan goal. <laughs> uh, retrieve. Ivanium. <laughs> I never realised that the spreadsheet minigame was going to be uh, way more fun than the actual goddamn game. Um, <laughs> wow, that is harsh. Thank you, I appreciate that. So anyway, the... Wait, um, I'll find there's a game spreadsheet, surely. To be fair, yeah. Right. Um, 
we could describe it as a game of um, not thrones. Yes. <laughs> There's been very few thrones, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. How's that? How's that? Would you describe it as a song of ice and or fire? I mean, well, three. a song of solar fire. and void, maybe. A song of radiation and blender. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the summer of love. I um, Right, okay. So we've got establish is self sustaining. Self sustaining. This is more summer of love and more summer of Sam, man. There we go. Uh, revenue. <laughs> I don't, it must have all connected or something slight ninja that. <laughs> Make Robo Body Parts Company with Soup Lord. It's to be a blood lord. <laughs> Somebody's messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me for once. Retrieve. Yeah, make a body parts company. <laughs> Vanium. So let's let's just make him Ivan, right? Let's let's since technically he's never even been told his own name. Like <laughs> we're yeah, Ivan, yeah, yeah. the king of the ooze. Uh, um, it doesn't even realize he's a king yet. Nope. <laughs> he's got the highest rank out of everyone. <laughs> uh bring contacts on versus up to date slash yeah, gain assistance. That, that seems r- so far reasonable. So oh far, so dear. What a Megabeth second album asked. So I'm just going to wait until Go 5 has been third, put third back. Album. Let's just get it back. Cause Alexa was a Megadeth third album. No, I don't have Alexa. This is where everybody's Alexa in the background starts playing Megadeth. Because <laughs> their first album was uh, Killing Us My Business and Business is Good, and then it was Peace Service. Because and buying arguably the deepest. Um, what? <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, I I would say their their second album was the deepest. Okay. Mhm. Mhm. Okay. Yeah. Valid. Um, Just because there's a lot of good tracks in it, there's a lot of depth. You know? Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. So, uh, end on the fix goal five still. I just fixed it. Yeah. Keep reading. <laughs> <laughs> From the reading supreme about time travel and how he go back a bit. Basic importance. <laughs> I completely skipped over that. <laughs> <laughs> that was sneaky. Right, got him. The Supremes. Mm, mm-hmm, the Supremes, yep. I found the Radiant Do you know, Supreme. maybe we should run a competition, see when we actually close this game over, right? Like, we should maybe do, like, once the finale's done, do one more session where we just see who can name no. how <laughs> many songs were actually named or hinted at during this game. No! <laughs> That is impossible. Because <laughs> holy fuck, there has been so many. We're not allowed to double, though. It's not like if we've mentioned a time warp four times, it only counts once. Um, what yeah. if I refer to the horrible dance version they always played at the school disco? Would that count as a separate song? No. This is the one role playing group that I've not introduced to the music, the genre of music I found the other week. Okay. Called Harsh Noise Wall. Interesting. Um, so the main musician in it is called Vermeer. Right. E-O-M-I-R. It's essentially, imagine e? white noise, but without any of oh the Oh my lord, pictures. that's loud. <laughs> yep. I listened for 45 minutes while painting a wall to we'll attract. Wait, wait some for us. Oh, yeah. oh. Does anyone remember what the thing was in the past goals column that I removed most of the consonants and added in a couple of extra vowels and it made right. a fucked up version of Weeboo. So oh, we are the Borg. We are the Borg, yeah, thank you. You're that welcome. Was, I was trying to remember. We all remembered. Who the fuck? I I run three RP games a week, Colin. Uh, how do you have room for my bullshit then? Because you are about seventy percent of the Monday game. <laughs> <laughs> Your bullshit. I posted that a link is. to the song in the thing, by the way. I will catch that when I. Anyway, confront radiant off screen about time soon. travel and how much he already knew slash knew about Zig's importance in retrieving the solar egg. Boom, let's go. But if you remove all the consonants and add all the vowels, sorry, take away all the vowels and just leave the letters that would spell soup, that says soup. It's like <laughs> That's how I read all my books. <laughs> I just rewrite it to the way I want to see it. Um, right, okay. Is anyone going to change any of the goals? Yes. I'll okay. say anything useful though, so we can continue. Okay. Anybody else? 
<laughs> no, that sounds like. Is that what that sounds like, everybody? No. Nah, and loaded. Okay. Mm. okay. I might change the spelling of time there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Stop changing it back. How do you know what? I'm leaving it? It's fine. So it's just travel by the, the herb? Yeah. Yep. Oh, dear. <laughs> by herb travel. Herb. Anyway. The herb. land of the herb. Anyway, right, how far are we? Right, okay, that's 20 minutes that's taken us to do this since we started. I'm sorry, Ryan. 20, I'm sorry. 20 minutes. <laughs> Can help. I don't know how I did it. Over the last few days, though, let's, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so, so here we are, on board, the final hour of Ryan's sanity, and hey, it's in fragments. Yeah, forever, eternity, you could say. Um, and I wouldn't know. And then you guys are pretty much stocking up the shuttle from the Azure Flare for departure. Where is everybody? Who is your daddy? And what does he do? I don't go ahead and check up with Alice. Yeah. I was about to say, oh, that's my goal. Um, but no. So, um, yeah, like, but maybe we focus on. You heading up to the bridge, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the door is kawoosh open, obviously. Kawoosh. Mm -hmm. Um. So is it going? And you see her, like you know, like plunking away in all the kind of controls in the bridge, and she's like, "How's what going?" You know, flight checks, things. How was it last week? Um, what order do you want the answers? Whatever order you like. Okay. Well, the week was fine, but. Flight checks are fine, and you all came back different. And she like turns back to the console and starts like plunking away. I bet that I'd kind of look at myself like, "Have I changed?" Just like. Aren't you a dad now? <coughs> uh, you mean Craig? No. He's a. Uh... He doesn't look like a Craig. She just shakes her head. Yeah, I would kind of nod at that. <laughs> it was surprising to me too. Um, I guess he just kind of clings to me because, well, I'm the same. Solar system. He's he's from where I'm from, but I'm not his dad. I'm shaking my head. And he's slowly nods, and she says, um, "Okay, um, how was your week?" Ah, uh, eventful. Um. Said, can't remember, but we did cover most of the stuff, didn't we? Well, did, did we? Did we? I mean, I feel like if you have things you would like to explain to her, maybe it's a good time to do so. You know, there's um, there's the queen, then there's uh, or more. more Dead people. Um, well, then there's a third egg. Well, the, the egg is. Um, 
Is there a first egg? I mean the solar egg. Yeah, 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 the gold egg. Yeah, yeah. Solar egg. Holy egg. <laughs> but not evil or deadly egg. Uh, she's not seen it, I don't think, though, has she? Uh. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess you probably don't even know why we're splitting up. Do you? Nope. Ah. Uh, you just got it back as well. See, there's, there's this, this, this chick called Grace. I, I don't know who Grace is. Do you know who Grace is? Yeah, I think I've met Grace. What? 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 <laughs> You've met Grace? I think so. How? When? It's a lot of questions. Um, I don't know, and I don't know before. Ah. Very. Um, and she likes. She th she thinks for a second, and she's like, you know when. You have a question, then you ask somebody, and you get an answer. But then, like, say you ask Zig or Lyco, and you get very different answers. Like, one describes it with too many words, and one describes it with not enough words. Like somewhere there. Well, I mean, see, we seem to have like one of Gracie's. Uh, uh, children in right. the form of an egg. I mean, a few of Why? Uh, we went back in time to get it. Oh. This is complicated. <laughs> it's co <laughs> she likes Scribber Fish, right? No, it's not that complicated, but why? Um, because Radiant. Supreme and Zig and ah, uh, it's complicated. I don't even really know why. <laughs> Won't you be annoyed that you have her egg? But that's why the the rest of the crew are taking it. Are you sure you don't want to go with them? I mean, if you've met Grace before, maybe you not want to know. No, why. I think it's when Zig killed me. I don't really remember, but I think it's Kill when. Is a strong word. Yeah. What would you say he did? And she just like stares at you a bit. Uh. Uh. <laughs> and she just like like her face softens like kind of hmm. <laughs> Killed is a strong word. Killed is a strong word. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Captain. <laughs> and she's just, just staring, like, with her eyes open, kind of <laughs> full expectantly, like, hmm. And then after, like, a minute or whatever of time passing, she goes, see? It's not like I hold it against him. It's just... Yeah. I'm different. I would that made me different, and now yous are all different, and I am different. The weird is different. I mean, he's kind of different. He is different, but he's not. I mean, last I seen he's not. him, he was next five, so he is different now. Definitely weird. But so I see. Um, <laughs> but that's okay. I changed. People are allowed to change too. That's how it works. Um, some, some, 
it's not always a bad thing, but it's it can be there's always like an adjustment period, right? Like, you know, you have to get used to these new things. I am I don't think that's a bad thing. I just I think if somebody takes a, a while to adjust to something, that's fine, so long as they do adjust in the end. Um but you came back and you're talking about eggs and you don't even know why. Uh, seems appalled. Okay. <laughs> she kind of like nods at that, like kind of like tight lipped, like hmm. She goes, okay. So, um, when do we leave? Uh, as soon as the rest of the crew are ready to depart to the other ship. You should uh, uh, talk to the uh, weird before you go. Before he goes, you know. Um, seems like well, no pun intended. You feel a bit weird about him. <laughs> that's that's just my advice. And then I would kind of get like a, a two fingered salute. And. Uh... She kind of just maybe she isn't looking at you when you slaughter, right? Maybe she's kind of like you know, like kind of deep thought, looking down at like either her like her thigh at the seat or like the the control panel, and then she kind of like looks up back and goes, "See, Captain, you are different. Uh, the Zora a week ago would never have came and asked me to speak to somebody I was uncomfortable speaking to, or at least she kind of just like shrugs." Yeah. See, everybody changes. She just kind of like smiles, like with her, her lips closed and big, kind of puffed out cheek smile. Kind of shrug, like kind of clueless to what she was talking about. It's an idea. Um, yeah. Like, you know. Like <laughs> well, we're good to go whenever, Captain. Um. Give you a shout once we're re- ready. I'd rather you just use the intercom. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> she pivots back right in the seat and just starts, you know, plunking on more buttons. Um, don't know where I'm going. <laughs> well, where's everybody else then? Uh, yeah. I was going to say, like. Mm. Prep is going. Mm. So where is everybody else in the ship then? While you know, because as I said, the shuttle has you know has been or the last steps of it being prepped to just go are done. I think Zig was in the shuttle doing some pre-flight. I was inside and, the shuttle. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. I think uh, Weird was outside the shuttle. Um, SK had wandered off. I'm calling her SK now, but Isabel had wandered off to uh, wrap up what she needed to do before leaving with you guys as well. So. We can have her going back narratively appropriately, whenever that is. Um, so, do you know what it's like up to? That's an excellent question. I believe when we left off, I was cleaning up somewhat in the cafeteria room. I assume that's done, though. Like, what's the next scene we see like when? That's a good question. Um, I suppose... Since we've, we've ascertained I'm not on the bridge, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I suppose we should be doing something elsewhere. Um, I mean, I can I, I can sort of go wander around and familiarise myself with the ship. Also, I mean, you do have captain rank, so yeah. I, I mean, who doesn't these days? Exactly. Um, like it's going out a fucking style, mate. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, yeah. You know what? I'll wander the ship. Can I roll culture? <laughs> um, is there something that would be like an acceptable outcome to wandering the ship? I, I don't know. I, could, I just to familiarise myself with the uh, the vessel and and you know maybe bump into someone and, and engage in some form of role playing conversation. But he's not actually specifically looking for anyone. I don't. I'm, I'm just sort of throwing this out there, and we can sort of. Well, tell you what, why don't you give me a survival check, right? And we'll see... <coughs> excuse me. 
consider it checked. We'll see um, how wellest you wander. So yeah, I think we just have you wandering for a bit then. Um, and we'll see who you bump into in a moment, because it might be the captain, it might be Isabel, it might be somebody else. So, you'll wander for a bit, at least that lets me know where you are. Is there anything that Weird and or Zig are doing for the final steps of getting their shuttle prepped? Because you two can go as soon as you are prepped, essentially. Yeah, I, I think... Oh, sorry, Karen. Oh, on you go. After you. Oh no, pressure! Um, <laughs> now we've got to say the right thing. Um, no, I think I think the last thing that I think um, I said is like, oh, I've got it. When it came to like um, starting out the pre-flight, mm -hmm. check things for the thingy. So I guess he'd just be doing that, sitting at the, the terminal thing, just boop, boop, boop. Mm -hmm. uh, did we get a roll from you for piloting last well, time? I'm just scrolling back, and I don't think we did. I got a person. Last my last, last, last roll was a perception, so I don't I remember what that was. Well, let's um, let's have a roll now, shall we? Okay, okay. Fly with me. For two rows of the first twenty minutes or something. <laughs> and, <I'm federal>. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a nice round twenty, a nice twelve empty. Yeah, um, I think um. Actually, quite a bad roll for me. I mean, but you've got some nice bonuses in that. Act <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, standard pilot and roll, surely. It's a pretty bad roll, actually. But yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> I for for the listeners at home, I rolled a six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take off. I mean, yeah, he's got some good <laughs> ass. I mean, thank, thank you for the bonuses. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it just takes you a bit longer to like. Maybe your confidence immediately drains when you're like, okay, none of the buttons are where they should be. Um, Cause yeah, like, yeah. luckily you've got some familiarity, so it's just time this is going to take to get like super comfy about navigating it all the way back. Cause keep in mind the autopilot took you to orbit. Um, yeah, and maybe there's just like it's got like a weird menu system and kind of stuck in this like. I've gone like a menu too far and I'm trying to find the back and I can't find it. Yeah, like, oh, no. like you've went to the top of the menu and the bottom of the menu is like, but where is the back arrow? And if I push this one, does it cancel the whole process or does it just go back a level? If anyone has used a Sony camera, this is exactly what happens. Or an Apple product. Or <laughs> an Apple, don't talk, we don't even talk about Apple So, um, <laughs> so uh, it sure. came out that they were involved in 9 11. <laughs> Colin! Wowie, wowie, woo, woo. <laughs> Sorry. Ding 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 ding. I don't know. I felt ding, like ding. I no. 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 Moving on. Uh, quickly, quickly. <laughs> so, um, weird. Do you have um any last things you need to do to prep the? Any last words? <laughs> uh, soup and the broth. Is that your soup? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Are we the same person? Perhaps. The or are we This is weird. This is weird. Um, wig. This is a wig. This is a wig. I think this is probably a good time to lampshade the, uh, or, you know, Chekhov's gun. The fancy materials that I can apply to my armor to allow me to walk through walls. Right. Um, yes, that's a, uh, probably a feature of my archetype that hasn't come up in gameplay terms yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, I've, I've got the, was it Space Right? I think it's called. An archetype that allows me to administer uh, some uh, yeah, experimental materials to my armor that gives them properties for a certain period of time. And how, uh, how are all these numbers and processes done? Talk us through this journey. You mean the character mechanics or? Yeah, the act, like yeah, like so. What is it you need to do to yeah. make all that happen? Uh, how long does it take to make all that happen? And how long does it last uh, let me while happening? Yes, let me pull that all up. Oh, okay, okay. I can come back to you if it's easier as well. Uh, just, I just want to double check quickly if I've put it no worries, into yeah. the game manager. Or the game manager. Sorry, start metal application. Just so it can pop up. Ooh. Uh, there you Ooh. go. Ten minutes of uninterrupted work. I 
grant the item the benefit of the chosen star metal for 24 hours. Um, so yeah, it's once per day I can do something for 10 minutes to then have it on for 24 hours. So this is basically something that I'll always be doing when I wake up. Um, so, your, so yours is Inubrix, is it? Yes, unless otherwise stated. It's Inubrix to my armor. Uh, that's what I said, wasn't it? It lets you walk through walls. Because I just think, given dino explosions and whatnot, mm. and being trapped in vaults. Yeah. Uh, You're now the tolling yeah. from Stargate. Wall or is it a weak to some kinds of wall? It's or? up to five feet thick. So if there's a five feet okay. one inch thick wall, is just scuppered. Duck. Just hit button that one inch. Oh um, my. Yep. Mood. Uh, Hedwig knows your pain. Um, <laughs> dead wig. Oh my. Uh, oh. <laughs> See, I was I was um, going more with uh, Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Um, ah. Know. As opposed to turf wars, as it were. Um, mm. So yeah. But, uh, yeah. So uh, where do we uh, applying that to his armor? Kind of testing it out, spooking in the shuttle. Okay. Yeah. So um, is it, does it maybe just like we've got um, like you walking through the shuttle, like kind of wall exterior, and then and out, and yeah, then, I guess. Experimenting to see if this if this is a quicker way to do inspections. Mm -hmm. Just I'll just walk through the shuttle and check that everything's okay. Maybe this is no reason why yeah. the the pre flights aren't going so well because you keep shorting out the shuttle but just wandering through yep. it. So that's probably to do my quick scan. Uh huh. I have to reboot it like every. It's like, do you have to reboot it if I walk through this part? Yes. Okay, reboot it. Do you have to reboot it if I walk through this part? Yes. And then <laughs> so we end up with a little just like chalk up. line of where he's allowed to walk in and out. Yep. And <laughs> SK's trying to load up his weird keeps cutting through the corridor by the wall. Well, okay, man, she's not there. She remember she wandered oh, yeah. off to do the cutscene at the end of the last time. The so. snake. <laughs> wow. Uh, so um, yeah. He shot me instead of talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah. I well, you guys are doing that then, right? So we've got all that kind of um, lamp shading and whatnot happening in the uh, shuttle bay. Um, did you ever turn on the little um, scorpion again, or did you just leave it off? Uh, oh, I just left it off and taken it into the shuttle. Okay, excellent. This should be fine. Yeah, totally fine. Yeah, I mean, who knows what it's capable of? <laughs> <laughs> Blending we'll just things. leave it on an enemy base Have and turn it off. Have the parable of the scorpion and the shawl? The scorpion and the blender. <laughs> um, yes. So, I think we'll go back to Lolo and I'm going to roll a d3. I think get all the things right. So, let's see. We've got... Now, is this... Uh, there we go. Look who you bump into, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Isabel. Yeah, it is indeed. Is that in order? Yep. Okay. So, um, I think yeah. she walks out of a room. You're walking down that corridor. She just stops abruptly. It's like looking for me. Hmm. But now I'm just uh, familiarizing myself with the uh, with the ship. I wasn't mm. exactly on it long. Just kind of like, says, yeah, no, I was there. <laughs> like you know, it's some kind of weird way of continuing the conversation in some way, and she's like. Yeah, I've had a look around myself. Not, I've not seen all of it yet, though. But it's got to admire Vess construction, and she like taps on just like a solid chunk of metal. It's like bracing the corridor. Yeah, it's um, it's built for purpose. Uh, very austere. 
I guess. See, I don't know if I would agree with that. I think maybe just they had in mind that all ships should be able to double as battering rams. I mean... Yes. Yes. Yeah, they're, they definitely do have a certain approach to war that maybe is a little direct. But, uh... Hey, nothing, nothing wrong with a robust ship. Also knocks in the, mm -hmm. the wall. Uh, it's just the like the for, there's no like echo to it really other than just thunk, right? Um, and she you says, are, "Sorry, no, on you go. Yeah, go for it." You're all uh, ready to ship off to the sun. Yes, I think the sooner we can secure the egg with grace, I think. <laughs> the easier I'll sleep at night. Let's put it that way. And then I can <coughs> recover my body from Thanida. She kind of like says that with like a kind of question mark in her face. But like, yeah. I don't see why that would be a problem. She seems, uh... Yeah, she's pretty reasonable. Um... I gotta ask... What the um? What's the what's the situation with you being back? You can understand why I'd be curious. She just looks you up and down once, <laughs> as if that's her reply, right? Um, no, knowing exactly why you would ask of all people, <laughs> and um, she says, "Tell you what." Akaton, Daza, a bar, you're buying, I'll talk. Once we're done uh -huh. with this. Deal? She just sticks her hand out. A slight shrug, and, uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll shake her hand, uh, sure. She shakes your hand, she grips it, and she goes, and you tell me your story. And she just kind of smirks at you. Okay. Deal. And then she goes, Good luck, by the way. And she walks past. And it just puts like an arm on your shoulder. And then uh, just keeps yeah. walking down the corridor the opposite way from you. Thanks. Uh, can you roll perception, um, by the way? Okay. Perception, where have you gone? Ah, where you always are. 20. Okay. That's bad for me. Yeah, it just seems quite a popular rule tonight. Um, yeah, I don't. I, that's fine. That's the exchange. Hundred percent. That's it. That's everything. Um, where'd you go after that? Um, I think. Uh, maybe sort of still kind of idling there for a second and then he'd go and seek out whatever he decided was his quarters and you know make some preparations yeah 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 gotta get ready to go so if I remember right let me see I think we need a document somewhere so player hand is player ships where's the player ship info stuff I want to put stuff there. Player sheet, player misc sheet, starship sheets, there we go. I'm gonna put a handout in here. I'm gonna let everybody see it in a second, but let's just put this as the final hour info. I save, show to every day, bam. So we're gonna have this document that will appear now. I'm gonna chuck in just stuff that I've already kind of committed to. So I can track this. So I said there was a captain's room that was pretty well done and then there were... I think I said there were two or four. I can't remember. Roll a d4 for me, Colin. 
certainly. Okay, so there are two. So one. Two um, diplomat level rooms, and then a dorm room. And that can. Let me see. I'll need to find out what level, like what level of crew this ship can support. Let me get that PDF open now because I think this ship is in. It's either Pack Worlds or the Core Book. So it's in one of the two. I think it's probably got enough room for like at least one person. Well, it's a transport ship, so I'd hope it could hold more than one. But it's mostly so I can write well, down what it actually it has. Yeah, I mean, like, let's see if we can get, where is the core book for this game and all the other ones? Can somebody look through the Packed Worlds PDF and we'll see if I'm making sure it's not in there. Okay. The way PDFs are loading in my thing lately, it's probably quicker if I just actually unbury the Packed Worlds book from this page. <laughs> <of books. laughs> It's also a very nice book. Um, it is. Right. What ship are we looking for? It's a transport ship, a Vesk transport ship. Um, I have a funny feeling it's in the core book though, but we'll... Uh, starship option, the Hell Knight, blah blah blah. Yeah, it looks like it must be core. I'm just scanning through the core just now. That sounded really sci-fi, that term, didn't it? What is it called, sorry? Scanning through the core. Uh, I've got it, don't worry. Oh, okay. I've got it, so I will dump all this into this info as well. It's two wee seconds. Uh, so we've got... It's the Norakama dropship, is what the actual ship is called. And mm. um, that's the one that you have. And what I'll do is I'll take a wee snapshot of the statistics. So you just know what you can actually do with this thing. Can I do this from here? Probably. Nor Nori Kama Save. And then put that down there. Yeah, what are we working with? Guns. Right, there you go. If you still want to have a look at that. Okay. Beautiful. It's fucking beautiful. There's a big zoomy button. Okay, right, here we go. Oh, guns. Very well. Guns. It's not bad for guns, to be honest. Guns everywhere. <laughs> two, two plasma cannon turrets. Mm -hmm. Aft coil guns, forward coil guns, and assisted particle beam, it sounds oof. Front beam. I know. That's all we need. Guest quarters, fine. <laughs> but is that in addition to normal quarters? Yeah, so you've got the crew complement, right? Of five. Right. And then guest quarters of five. So it can house up to ten. Mm -hmm. And that's obviously just based on what it's got now. You could rip out stuff, right? And fit more things in, most likely. Um, obviously, we know I've given it a shuttle bay that can hold the shuttle that is like the drop ship for the Norikama, um, or the Fenlower in this case. And then it can house the second, like, Azure Flare shuttle at the same time. Because remember, this thing doesn't land. Yeah, that's a fair point. Uh, 
Yeah, because you've got, like, in that list of stuff under Power Core, you've got, like, Drift Engine, which is Signal Booster, you've got Systems, which is basic long range, you've got Crew Quarters, which are all common, and then you've got the Guest Quarters, which are all common too. Um, so it can house up to, like, 10 people. And uh, currently on board, you've got U4, right? And you've got Thanida, Isabel, Alice. So, what are you up to? Seven actual people? CC8? So that's eight people you just have already. So, reasonable, right? Ivan is nine, assuming you give him a room. Yeah, I mean, you just stick him in a hole. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow! Fucking ooze! Me! It's part of the corner. Oh, that. <laughs> He's going to be a captain as well, mate. I, respect I mean, technically, that's a demotion for him. He's um, he's already a king. Um, True. But he'll also be a captain of his own a king to your god. The king captain is. What's the god? Alright, so I'm gonna put a room list. It sounds like rock, paper, scissors. Oh. Know, right. it, it is, but it's also a song by someone that I can't remember the name of. So it's just King Trump non believer. Will he actually be the captain king? Probably. Is, is it yay? I hope it's not fucking yay. I hope I haven't been one of those white people quotes. What's yay. the other um, term for like a conference room? What would that be called? Like a briefing uh, room. Oh, it's no church in the world. It is yeah, it's yeah and GZ. Briefing room is what we call it. Yeah. Uh, um, actually, a good track. As I recall. And uh, what other rooms have been established? We've got the canteen. Uh, canteen. Can I just call it cantina? That's correct. Um, so we've got the bridge, the captain's room, the briefing room. We've got the comms room. As well. Cantina. Yeah, I think that's it so far anyway. I'll just save those changes. Um, they should all have come up for everybody on that note. At least it gives us some kind of, yep. um, you know. Would if I didn't close it? Mm. Yes. Okay. okay. Obviously, MD can edit this, but like I would highly suggest you um, be very vo yeah, be very vocal over all that. Yes, so nobody else is actually in it, editing it and changing everything. Um, but I don't mind if somebody takes charge of updating that, saying I will do this dot 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 or whatever. Um, yeah, feel free then, Nico. You can now t take on board that you have a shuttle bay big enough to house two shuttles, but you just have one. Uh, actually edit this, can I edit this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, should be able to, I believe. Let me just um, uh, double check that very fact um, and then update that fact and then make it possible. Done. Done. But yeah, that should be that done. Uh, while oh, Nico yeah. is adding in Shuttle B uh, with a, you know, a Vesk dropship and Obviously, room for one other shuttle. Um, what is what is the captain up to now? Then, right, where are you wandering to? Well, uh, as a flare shuttle, well, the probably the shuttle. You see how the air checks are gone since Alice is now ready to rumble. Yeah, and I think maybe like you, you like you and escape like she comes from like a you know a right hand corridor, and you're walking straight down towards the back of the ship to get to the the shuttle bay. So you obviously pass each other, and she'll just, she'll just like nod. She's like, "All good." Uh, who is it? Sorry, I did a catch up. Isabel. Isabel. Okay. Uh, all good here. Um, we're ready to roll. I'm just ready. Just going to the shop to see how Zig weird does. See if they're ready to roll. Good. You. We'll see. Just kind of nod to that. Mm -hmm. She's always mysterious. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I mean, you could read well, into it if you wanted. It's really up to Zora. Um, shall we? And I'll give all the ladies 
first, you know, sort of that. After you, assuming she's probably going there as well. The so just, she just kind of nods, and then she's like, "So, um, how long do you think you you're going to be on versus?" Hopefully, it should only take a day or two max while we're under. Mm. Oh, count the travel time. Oh, shock, because I don't really know the travel time. <laughs> Kind of like nod slowly, to like. And after? Hopefully I'll burn it out. Um, let's see, we'll probably be back at Acton. Probably, probably not as if we have the Queen. Or at least keeping her shielded from the radiation would be advantageous. But nod. Yes. Um, um, either way we can get in touch via comms on the ships. Arrive. Yes. Who is taking charge of CC? I'll take, I'll try and keep my eye on him. I... She like nodding slowly, like, I was hoping you'd say that. I feel, um... His... Interest in the egg... Seems merely for a comfort. But... Let's... Nip that in the butt. While we can. Well, it'll become aware as anyway. We're gonna need these expertise. Good. She has no idea what his expertise says. She's probably just like, huh? She's just saying good, right? Like, she will 100% <laughs> it's just, just like, yeah. <laughs> she's just like, that thing's got expertise, but she has no idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now she's just a small screaming blue furry thing, isn't he? So, um. <laughs> it's like Gremlin. So, uh, like Gremlin. Yeah, and I think maybe as this conversation's like kind of peering out, you just get to the back of the. Like the shit where the, the shuttle bay is. Uh, and they head into seeing. So it's always a weird still walking in and out of the shuttle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure he walks out and just goes, Hi, Captain. Just walking out the side of the shuttle. I think it, Isabel turns to you and goes, I think he means you. Yes. <laughs> Here's Zig like slowly rebooting the mm -hmm. the console again. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh, oh, I made a mistake. I only the sort of tears. I only do some editing. Learn how to do some like guild editing. You know, mm -hmm. like <laughs> 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 tick some boxes for like rights and stuff. Like <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rename them. <laughs> Who gets to edit message of the day? That's all I care about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I need to fix this. Um, how's the prep going? We Alice seem to be, to be ready to rumble. Excellent. I think we'll be done soon. Zig is having some issues with bugs in the system, but uh, they should be resolved shortly. Yeah, it's so weird. Yeah, weird. So weird. Uh, uh. I think you just hear Isabel sigh. <laughs> <laughs> Regretting uh, a lot of life choices up until this moment. Uh, hey, well, did it help? Speed this up. Hmm. You could ask CC what was up with the blender. And whether he wants it back. I'll just yeah, sigh at it. I'm just better at CC actually. I think, like, yeah. Isabel immediately starts looking around the room as well, just where she stands, being like, <laughs> Yeah, where is he? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I lost sight of him sometime around. Well, walking through the shuttle. I will send him a message. 
good luck. Uh, all I see in said message. Isabel just looks at you and shrugs. I'll just ask him what he's doing. What you doing? So is this a voice request Smiley or like face. a text? Smiley face text. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you send that off, right? Um, and then you get a, a reply back uh, in text form that is a whole stream of emoticons, right? Because you sent a smiley face. So it's possibly every facial expression emoji it can find are sent back. <laughs> Downloaded models as well, that yeah. I've seen before, probably. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a big solar system. And uh, then the second message that comes in is um, it just says, listening. Dun, dun, dun. Not getting up to any trouble? Question mark. Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, there's like just three dots that get sent to you. <sighs> I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure he's clever enough not to blow up the ship. The ship and power is down. <laughs> It just click, it just harsh cuts to the outside of the ship that blows up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure he's not that stupid, right? We'll just leave him, we'll leave him be. Uh, just make sure he's not stored away in the shuttle before you leave. I think it's about because he's literally stole the words out of my mouth. Yeah, so let's make sure he's <laughs> not in the shuttle. Um, so yeah, I think that's what she does. She goes to like check over the shuttle along with like Zig and or Weird depending on what Weird's actually up to um, I think in that scene as well she finds the scorpion blender sat in the shuttle <laughs> and she just turns to, to Weird and says is this essential? sorry is what essential? she holds up the scorpion blender I don't know. Okay. I'm just gonna set this out here. And she like takes it out of the shuttle and just sets it on like one of the crates at the back. But what if it would be helpful? Your initial reaction of what is it is very convincing, by the way. And she like nods to whether or not it would be helpful. What if it blew up? What if it ate the shuttle? What if it ate the egg? I deal with those things frequently. Her eyes Some just like narrow a little bit. tactics involve trying to blow up the shuttle or eating the shuttle. She just looks at Zora. Imploringly. <laughs> <laughs> I think even she would be concerned at the idea that you are so cavalier about her safety and the safety of her ship, Captain. Ah, uh, just, just think of it. It'll be fine. Yes, because if it bites through something that causes some radiation to leak in to the ship. We'll all be fine. I mean, it also be handy. She looks at it, the blender. But and then looks back at on. you. I feel like it could be equally as handy there with you. Especially if oh. you're going to have CC with you. <laughs> Uh, I'll be like, I'll, I'll turn away. We go to shoot. How fine is that? 
I'll send a message to Fanaida and ask her all where she's at, I guess, because that's easy. Oh, then we'll run her in like an idiot. Yeah, um, you get like a voice comm request. Uh, accept. Hello. You, you asked for some attention, Zora. It's uh, it's the Nida, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Uh, I got that with the the, <laughs> the tone afterwards. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, seems like the the shop was ready to depart soon, and the final hours also. Pretty much ready, so yeah, um, just to keep you up to date. How very considerate. Ah, uh, I mean, yeah, thank you. You hear blender noises in the background. <laughs> <laughs> You're the cat team. <laughs> no. Should I be? Uh, no, wait. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? I mean, there is people you can make an introduction to when we there. I mean, Unfortunately, I cannot be in. be in two places at once. I'm sure your ship will be in. Maybe not. Maybe you should go with your ship. <laughs> the hologram <laughs> display like on your wrist nods. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the creaks of her neck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, maybe a bit of responsibility, a big thing. Um, yes, I did think I would take command of that expedition. I am glad you agree. Uh, I guess we'll see each other on Akhtar then. Or not? Excellent. I wish you well. Give a little, give a little the creak of the neck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Those are good advice. Oh. You, get a, you get a text message from um, CC. It just says, I also wish you well. <sighs> He's on your ship, by the way, and I'm not going to do anything to stop it. It's on you. <laughs> What? Wish you well as well. I would send a text back. You just get back. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and then That's I'll, it. I'll <laughs> An angry emoji. emoji. Mm-hmm. I, I guess I'll go wander on the, the ship. I organise myself a bit more since I got lost the last time. Give me a survival roll. <laughs> uh, They're totally arbitrary, I, but why not? I totally, totally. What's my Firefox, idiot? Mm. Why would you close your Firefox? Click, what kind of click, fucking clicky button? A quick clicky button, boys. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh. And then I go survival. <laughs> it's a good. I, I like a bit of Star Wars roll. there. Mm. Probably an awful roll no, against no. a roll well. Yeah, you just. You realize you're. I don't have a roll well. No, you're. You're still. This is your people ship, like. Yeah, I wish it'd be like. Culture. What exactly did you do, in the Vesk military? Right, like, you can't fight uh, goblins. You can't recognize spaceships. You can't walk around <laughs> spaceships. Wow. Like, the the most successful thing you did is damage a salvage crew you paid, to recover a ship you booby trapped. Hey. <laughs> Mate, something rang with my robes, man. Like, roll twenty is rigged. Can I just get like a camera and like a wee tiny desk where like we roll on a dice? No, because then you <laughs> then you'll blame the lag or some shit. Um, <laughs> oh, my camera's know. frozen on this twenty. Uh, so I guess that's what I roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um, old fashioned when they like they do teleport effects and people just stand still, so they can do the overlay, the right. interlacing effects. Um, anyway, so. I think you just wander a bit, a bit. and um, I'm going to see who Lyco 
bumps into next because That's it's, right. it's either going to be uh, the captain or somebody else. Do I ask why it's a D3? But, um, captain or question mark? Yeah, but it's the captain you bump into. So I think you two are just like meet again in another crossroads of corridors. Captain? Ico. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, you know, just familiarizing myself with the, uh, new vessel. Um, are we, um, we ready to go? Pretty much. Just waiting for the other shuttle crew to get underway. Um. Okay, well. Should we uh, hurry them up? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can try. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, it's definitely well, a, a I, I guess we can let them depart at their own base. Everybody's a whale. Uh, Guess we've just got to chill and wait. I'm I think I've done all the prep I need, so I'll uh, head to the bridge. I guess. Uh, you're probably at the crew quarters where you are right now. All right. So you've probably dumped stuff in a a bunk or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Just be like. Yeah, the, the, the bridge seems like a good idea. I don't follow you because I'm lost. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> you want me to? Uh, do you want me to roll survival? Why not? Actually, right? Why not? Yeah. Let's go crazy. Let's have one like more it's roll. Hey, oh no! <laughs> I was like, you can... though. See that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's um. Wow. Navigating the ship. Right. This is the new game. This is the new campaign. Wait. It's vest techno that's a vest like tactic as well. They just make their inside of their ships a huge fuck so you can't navigate it very Yeah, but it's not like the inside of boarded, they can't find it. It's not like the inside of Hogwarts though where corridors reconnect to other corridors like these rules imply. Um, I mean the cruise quarters is gonna be the hardest place to find, right? That's where all the that's only men are gonna run it to. To be fair, it's also because the vests don't want you to be sleeping as well. It's like how dare you find your room? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you should be awake, soldier. <laughs> Um, oh, rooms are a sign of weakness. Of weakness. <laughs> rooms are a sign of weakness. Um, yeah. But yes, so I think we go back to the shuttle team, and yes. yeah, like I guess you've got the place. Like you've got, you don't really have much to put on the shuttle. To be fair, so like yeah, I think these are good to go whenever. You just need the NIDA, and that's about it. I think maybe Isabel's in. Um, I guess running Zig through all the stuff that. Weird maybe has interfered with and what you can do to like reboot it faster if that happens again. Yeah. Right? You know, a crash course um, in the menu okay. system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of the shortcuts and stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like double pa double tapping the banner the at the top. Control. It goes back. Yeah. <laughs> um But yeah, so she gives you a bit more kind of like navigation tips on that. Um uh, as for weird or even Zig, any last things you just need to do on the, the final hour? Any last, uh, not requests, but like interactions or anything? No. No, I don't think so. No. I like the idea that you all just sit in the ship then for like 10 minutes and then everybody's like, who's told Sinaida? And then there's just this shot of everybody just staring at each other. I thought I you were going to do it. On it. <laughs> Thank you. Isabel and a we just turned to Zig. Uh, rookie captains, man. <laughs> just uh, tries to like really sneakily pull out my comms and send a message without like looking at it and just like going, uh, yeah, no, I definitely, definitely told her to send. You gotta make him roll for that, Ryan. Plus, you're gonna try, to. you're gonna just t try and send her a column, like, by typing it all out behind your back? Um, sure, yeah. Right, okay. 
I, first of all, I'd like you to roll computers. Oh no. I know it's over with the scene, we all got excited about culture, but it's not. Yeah. I was really disappointed. Me too. Ah! That was That's a really good, good roll for me. I wake up at night and I'm just be rolling culture without even realizing it. Yeah. Just hot sweats of culture. <laughs> yeah. Hot sweats of culture is another band name. Um. Right. Okay. What did you actually roll there? Was that a fourteen? Yeah. That's all right, actually. Yeah, but it's still a shit sixteen. Um, I mean, it's, yeah, it's rubbish, but it's you know. Well, that's no, a good sixteen, but it's a bad roll. Um. Yes. So um. Oh, the system we play. Right. Um, or does it <laughs> play us? Um, Can I not use inspiration? Oh, no. No. He who does not play the system is by the system played. Yes. So, so anyway, the um, yeah, I think I think maybe weird gets a voice request. Voice comes, and um. It's Thanida, and she says, Are you with Zig? Yes. Well, he sent me this message, and she forwards it to you, and it's just a bunch of garbled nonsense. Like, is he okay? Yes, that seems like a fairly standard Zig communication. He's never been one for communicators. Okay. Perhaps we should spend some time with him, and I appreciate the irony of me stating this, but yes, I feel we should at least show him the order the letters normally go in. I yes. Mean, especially if there is an emergency. You two make quite a, a useful mirror, actually. With, uh, you know, unfortunately he can only shove his thoughts into people's heads, whereas you can tear them out of them. So, that's, uh, if only you could kind of reverse that and put them into him. There's like, mm. you just hear the footsteps on the, um, like, as if she's walking down the corridor anyway. Um, it's the only thing you hear for a bit of open comms for maybe like 20 seconds. Um, and then she goes, I'll think on that. Are we ready What's to depart? Been? Yes. Excellent. Zora has agreed that given the nature of our trip, I will be the oversight of this. I assume this is not to your disliking. Technically, you did agree with her two minutes ago. <laughs> um, Technically. She's at least the responsible one, is what I say is right. Mm. <laughs> but she did say to you, like, on over comms, you know, I think we can both agree I'll be in command of that, so I'm not too worried. And then you were like, yeah. So, you've told two people they're in charge of that mission. Um, just FYI, Sora. Great captain. Yeah. And, um, she, um... My response is, of course, yes, I appreciate a... a uh, oh, what's the word? Mm. the word. Brain is gone. Um. No. Uh, yes, I appreciate a first officer who can hold the captain accountable. Good. Thank and you. are you uh, offering your services or are you suggesting Zig or Isabel? And she kind of like playfully laughs over the comms. She says, I'm going to disconnect now because I'm nearly there. Press Very well. a button. Um, and you just, just, just talking. Like, yeah, you just <laughs> see her walk into like the the shuttle bay from the windows of the uh, the Azure Flare shuttle, and um, you know she's in a hurry, wonderful dress, but she's carrying her ugly spacesuit with her, and then um, she climbs in through the airlock and and then it says, "Yes, my ship, my rules, on any form of mission off the ship." She just shrugs. I don't really care. And then um, she walks up to a the control station and just looks down at Yuzig. She stands up. She smiles. Maybe maybe slumps off the chair, I guess, <laughs> if it's there. Uh... And um, she says, excellent. 
and uh, she sits on the chair and just starts like activating all the consoles and whatnot. Cause she just really likes driving, doesn't she? That's what it is. <laughs> like, she's never experienced it before, and like, she's just like, all of this. this to be great. fair, like, it's a form of taking control. So, do you blame <laughs> her? <laughs> um, given what she lost recently. Um, that's a super horse, man. Okay, cool. Riding through the sky on her space horse! <laughs> horse of the stars! <laughs> yes. The um, Star Rider, the Equestrians of Eternity. No, wait. Um, so, anyway, the shuttle like hums and thrums to life. Uh, and then Thanaira, like comes up to the bridge. I'm going to assume eventually you guys got to the bridge, by the way. Just FYI. I feel like it's more important that they leave while these are you know, on the bridge. You and Lyco. Um, so maybe you just get to the bridge when Alice is like opening columns to the show. And uh, Snyder says, we would like to leave uh, now. Uh, so we'll make that happen. And, uh, and the and the you know, excuse me. In the shuttle, you can see her like wave her hand vaguely, like make that happen. <coughs> um, and Dallas is like, okay, I releasing shuttle two in uh, five, four, and use of walk ten as the countdown obviously happens. Three, two, one, and then the shuttle get like volleyed down out of the uh, the final hour, and you are away. Making your journey back to the uh, the Azure Flare, and then you hear Thalia just say, "Good luck on your mission. I hope it is prosperous." Uh, do you do? We will not need luck. We have skill. Good day. Cook an egg. Wow. Skill. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cook an egg and then just like. Mouth drop as she's <laughs> like, like, <laughs> oh, she mic dropped when she cut you off, so yeah. Uh, I'm a mouth drop. Mm -hmm. so like, what? <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah. Uh, you guys are way off to the Azure Flare. Um, the door to the bridge opens again, and in kind of like, I want to say Waddles, CC. I am. Um, I don't know why, but I just in my head, like before you said waddles, I would I like preemptively said waddles. Yeah, like well done. Yeah, we're psychically I harmonic. Planted it in my mind, yes. and uh, I like the term psychically harmonic. But okay, planted it in your mind. That'll do. Um, Mental. That's how Zig would say it. Mm -hmm. Verbal telepathy. Um, oh, yes, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's an excellent phrase. Like, it's like that. such such a good skin um, But anyway, the like he's he's holding what looks to have been a blender, and he just looks up to you, Sora. Right. Mm, yeah, so, yeah. I missed that part. Like, yeah, he like kind of waddles into the bridge. Oh, right, he waddles in. Uh, all right. Uh, what is it? Do <laughs> he looks down at it and looks up at you and looks down at the blender and looks up at you, and he just holds it up to you, like with two hands above his head, and he points with like his middle set of hands to you, and then with the other one up at the blender. <laughs> yeah, and um. Do you want to give an engineering roll? Oh, uh, no, but oh, okay. Uh, engineering. Oh, my. <laughs> this is happened. the ballpark that we live in, guys. This is it. Like, I mean, that was zero engineering. Like, um, <laughs> that's actually a decent It looks like a gauntlet. Looks like a gauntlet? Mm hmm. Put on. Just point his hand, he? And then he's uh, he's nodding. I'll put on. Because I'm really sure to this. This is going to be a terrible mistake. I'll put on. Yes, think about the phrase you're using. I put on the former blender. Um, yeah. And um, like CC kind of gets a bit more like excitable about this now that you've done that. 
um, and just starts like tapping uh, the three of his wrists on his left hand with all the, his right hands. I'm holding the, bl- the, the thing away from me. <laughs> no, he's like, little alarm here, guys. He kind of like shakes his head and just starts like berating you, um, and then starts motioning you to put it back on your left wrist. Oh no, no, I mean it's still on, but I'm like kind of holding my, my hand away. <laughs> my face, he, he, and he like know. lifts up his wrist to, to you so you can see it, and he starts shaking his wrist in front of you, and he starts tapping it with his other hand. Yeah, I want to look at my wrist. So he wants me to look at my wrist. Tap buttons or something. Yeah, and there's like, you know, a couple of buttons on the gauntlet. I will do so. Yeah. I'll press the buttons. Right, yeah, so the first button you press, uh, the thing like tightens to your wrist so it's like snug. With blender noises, of course. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Parts spin into place violently fast. Um, Scary. And then he puts up his his hand with like the number two. And uh, even though the three of the hands are doing this, so it looks like the number six. and then he he starts tapping his wrist again excitedly. Oh, at the second button. Person. Cool. And a uh, just a line of cable fires out and like pins itself into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> ah. And he uh, he just runs and then like, you know, zip lines from the part he can reach, down until he he lands again, on his feet. Uh. I just give you a thumbs up. How do you detach it? He just gives you a thumbs up. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, press the button again. Which one? One, two, or three? Second one. Okay, a second cable launches out. Oh, okay, the fourth button. Okay, cool. Uh, you are pulled towards the cables. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I smack my head after one. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> that actually seems kind of useful. It does. CC ah! looks up at you, uh, like, oh, and just gives you a thumbs up. I give him a thumbs up back. But how do you detach it? <laughs> CC, like, walks over to you as you're lying, maybe, like, between these two cables uh, that go either way from your wrist, uh, and just walks up and just pats you on your shoulder twice. Oh, just. I'll try and cut it. My, my claw. Yeah, you can cut it. It's not like particular. It's like it's the equivalent of like a plug wire. So <laughs> it's ridiculous. So it's just electric I'll cable. It. Yeah. Right, I'll keep it uh, handy. Handy. Uh, you kind of nods. Thank you. Gives you a thumbs up. See you before the up back. Yeah, he just gestures to go up. With his two hands grabbing at you. <laughs> yes, I will. I'm gone. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> yep, so he sits back on your neck again. Uh, fantastic. So, um, the. I will go. And then we're under all of them the Azure Flares shuttle go. Who are you asking? I don't know if I'd have visibly been able to see foot left. Uh, I mean, probably not, right? Like, I don't think the. What are scans show? With our, uh, are the rest of the crew gone? I would say, Alice. Uh, oh, uh, that's what that countdown was. And when you said like "good luck" to Snyder, that was oh, you know, oh, that, that was that, that was that. That's... That was oh, like moments right. ago. Actually, Captain, are you okay? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we like, let it go. Like I have a, l- I've had like a week t- to learn this ship, and this is your technology, so that really concerns me, Captain. Um. Which I don't know if I even need to call you Captain anymore. If I'm a Captain, because I feel like I've spent uh, more time on the ship than you have, so that should make me Captain. Why is yep. she a Captain? Oh. I missed something. Finn appears uh. and goes, "Yes, indeed, Captain Lyco. You have, have all been designated Captain Tier One." Except for Captain Tier 2. And gestures towards Zora. <laughs> yeah, two fingers on it. Okay. You know, 
That's confusing. This guy, kind of okay, I'll need to fiddle with the settings at some point. <laughs> yeah, you, you people kind of suck at this, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, uh, the others. I would kind of <laughs> like mock. <laughs> 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 Sin just looks between the two of you, Lyco and Azora, and it's just like, if there is nothing else, I will be elsewhere, and then just flickers out. I was really just change the sentence. Um, so, are we ready to go, Alice? <laughs> I've been ready for a week, Captain. Or, Zora. Mm. Let's go back to their season. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, like it is a fairly big bridge, right? Um, I'll take a seat that, you know, is, is in an appropriate uh, position for a captain rank one. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a further forward seat available for a captain rank two, such as such as Cap. I don't, I don't see. Is that it? Captain always starts in the middle of it. That's just how it is. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, um, why don't we have, let's see, what have we got? You could probably take position at the long range sensors, right? Okay. You could probably take that seat, yeah. Because Alice is in the kind of, you know, overall operations seat, which is the, if you need one person to run everything, that's the seat you set up, because she's probably wired the thing to do more than it should, right? Um, in the week she has spent being like, I don't want to run between different seats, quite frankly. So, yeah, she sat there at the do everything station. And um so, right, well, I guess off we go then. Um, now, here is the thing, right? She ha we've got a signal booster for this engine. What did Define Lower have? Was it the same? Uh, the, the 11th hour even? Sure Let me have a wee, a wee nosy at that. I feel like it may Signal have been... Signal basic drift engine. Signal basic, right, okay. Because I feel like it might modify the role we do. Um, if it's got a different engine. So... An Aracam is on page 315 of the main book, right? So, where is... Space travel... So, let's look at... Having a look at how far they go. So we don't need weapons, we need systems. Shields, weapons, Drift systems. engines. Right, so signal basic was one. Signal booster is a two. Um, so that means that... We have... Engine rating times... Is it maybe like divided, right? Was that what it was? I really forget how that worked. Who remembers how star travel works in this? Because we've... Oh, so, pretty much if we reduced it down to a d6, but it might be a d6 divided by 2 now. Uh, why did it not... Yeah, right? Where's my quick reference sheet that I once had? Travel in system 1d6 plus 2? So that's... In system, what page are you on? Page 290. Let's have a wee nosy then. Yeah. Standard navigation and astrogation. Okay, 290. Space travel. Okay, let's have a look. 1d6 plus 2 days. Yeah. yeah. Is that standard then? Because we've maybe not had done. We've not been doing that. The plus 2 at no, least. We've been using drift, which is not the plus 2 days. Yeah. We probably shouldn't have been using drift though. I guess. Travelling between two stars is apparently that. So, travelling between two planets in the same system. Yeah, you can travel in this. system with drift and it's 1d6 days. Okay, cool. So that has been done right then. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Travel without drift in system has that plus an extra two days. Yeah. Um, is there a... Where did your fancy engine come in? I think that would only come in in like an actual battle. I'm thinking. No, so for example, a starship with a drift engine rating of 2 travelling to a world in the vast, for example, would roll 5d6 and divide the result by 2. Um, 
Mm. So if you roll the set, yeah, I've got a fifth. Mm. You never note that you never round down with drift travel rolls because these partial days can be extremely important when multiple spacecrafts are racing to another destination. Uh, let's see. It is possible to pause mid-jump and even to land on one of the floating chunks of terrain or engage in starship combat. Interesting. In drift, this is. Um, we've been adrift and drift before. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Yeah, so I think that was right. I think it is just the the D6 divided by the engine rating. Which is good to know. Right. Okay. Man. <laughs> relearning this system. So, who would like to roll the d6 for the travel from this ship? So is it a Zora or Lyco? Because I could do it as Alice, but I'd rather you guys... Roll. Yeah, give us a d6 then. There we go. <laughs> Two days for you guys. These. For the Not final bad. hour, two verses, and then la hora final. Would you guys like to have a scene on the way to the Azure Flare? Do you have anything you want to chat about in the shuttle, or are you just happy just to get to the Azure Flare? This is the other team that involves yeah. Beard and Sig. Team I'm thinking about the danger to walking through walls during flight. Mm. Mm. I might recommend don't, but also, how often does passing through things make you fall through the floor? Right. So. Yep. So there's that. <laughs> I've always wanted that. Just have the drift, like when you hit the drift and you just stay put, and everything else buggers off into the other dimension. <laughs> 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 Like, oh well, they'll be back. Um. Mm. It just depends if you've got any conversation you need to cover on the way to the Azure Flare. I'm just picturing him sitting awkwardly. I mean, probably, right? But really comfortably, though, to be fair. Just yeah. comfortably uncomfortable. Um, yep. Mm. What's mm. SK up to during all this? Uh, Isabel, she probably just sat in one of the couches, right? Um. I imagine they're grav couches, hence why no seatbelts are required, probably. Yep. Because um, space. <laughs> Shrug. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I think she's just maybe tapping away onto like a wrist computer or some shit like that, yeah. That's about it. What about Zig and Weird? What I are you doing? I don't think Zig's saying much. I think he's just kind of mentally preparing. Okay. What does maybe, that Maybe kind of meditating like? or whatever. Um, kind of just sitting with his eyes closed, just trying to um. focus on the task at hand. You know, he's going home, trying to trying to put himself more at ease, I guess, um, mm. from the last times that he's been the uh, quote unquote home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, weird. Anything of note for yourself? Look over at Zig and say, "What kind of uh, uh welcome can we expect?" At the at this point, who knows? Gone, gone, gone. Mm. Should you take a gift? Yeah, I guess wine is usually a good uh, welcoming thingy. It's like, no, no, no gifts. No gifts will be necessary. I walk over to the bar and start looking at bottles. And then, um, I think maybe as everyone looks up while well, Yusuf had that exchange and just says, You, um, gonna be okay? She says that to Zig. Yeah, I'll be fine. 
I think she um, just looks up at you behind Zig and then looks back oh, yeah, at I'm, Zig. I'm not looking at her. I'm at the bar. Oh yeah, but I think this is for Zig's benefit. Yep. Yeah, she's drawing you the dirty look for his benefit. <laughs> <laughs> I think Zig takes like a dig, like a big deep breath, not a dig deep breath, uh -huh. and goes, <sighs> "Yeah, I'll be good." And then smiles and just kind of looks down at his thumbs. Maybe his hands are sort of clasped in that, like you know, twiddling your thumbs pose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And looks down as he like kind of rotates his thumbs around each other. You just were saying, if things go bad, you've got us. If things go bad. Hmm. Things won't go bad. She kind of like nods, you know, like almost like confirming that, right? You know, like, yeah, of course they won't. Um, but there's no hint of like smile or like mm -hmm. pleasantries or anything. It's more like a kind of, you know, yep, we'll get it done. There'll be nothing wrong with it. Done. Good. Excellent. Everything's yeah. I think maybe at that, like, um, when he says um, things won't go bad, he's like noticeably stopped, like, twiddling his thumbs. Mm hmm. And then when she kind of like, you know, affirms that in her kind of non happy way, <laughs> um, the bit that he'd like pause and then just look down and continue to twiddle his thumbs. And, um, yeah, I think the rest of the journey towards the, uh, the Azure Flare just happens as normal, like it docks with the Azure Flare. Um, Snyder's programmed it obviously to like click in. She's already at the airlock waiting for the ships to become, you know, one. Uh, she exits and then she just kind of stops at the airlock and turns and she says, Don't scuff the paint. And then just laughs and then walks away. Um, and today's your flare. Meow. Um. <coughs> Yeah, I guess the zig falls on and just. Oh, weird. Because I mean, Isabella's just gonna follow on as well. Uh, if you wait until everyone's done. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think you're alone in the shuttle then. <laughs> yeah. And uh, pick out one of the less empty bottles. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Shove it in the null space chamber. And. Uh, so we sorry. Did we dock inside? Yeah, you're on the, the Azure Flare. This has been like, you know, yeah, after like an hour sure. or whatever. Like of Then when I just walk out through the bar <laughs> and catch up with everyone. Yeah. <laughs> so I think um, as these are all like heading through the ship, she's like, I suggest we plot the route straight away and do not waste time. Time wasting can happen en route. And then she like heads up to the bridge area for the um, other cockpit at least. Um, she heads up there. Now, which of you two want to do the how long it takes rule? Uh, me. Uh, you. Perfect. <laughs> Just keep in mind the other two that haven't rolled will be doing the return journeys, so don't worry if there are indeed return journeys. Dun dun dun. I rolled a two. There we go. One day. Good boys. Right. In fact, no, it's not one day. I don't actually know what uh, level of drift engine this thing has. Let me have a look at the engines. And we see appeared there yesterday. <laughs> yeah, right. These were, these were already there. Um, two seconds. I'll quickly have a look at what I can actually justify this thing having. I've only just noticed this suit. Mm -hmm. Which... <laughs> I have no idea what you're referring to. I wonder who could have been typing that. I mean, who who possibly could it have been? Hmm. Um, right, let's see. What have we got here? We've got some fancy drifts. Size of the ship versus the... Because it's... 
probably not exactly a million miles away from the final hour in terms of its size. It's just not built the same way as the final hour at all. The stupid fancy seals. Um, stupid fancy interior. Yeah. But like, I guess it still would qualify as like a transport, right? So. Yeah. 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 Passenger okay. transport. Mm. But yeah, like it's not like the things next to transport are destroyer, and explorer is valid, I guess, as well. But it's. Yeah. Let's see. Definitely is more of a what drive it's got, I guess. Well, what I'm looking for is what I can justify because this guy Max size min PSU. I wanna see if I can get away with having like a signal major if I can. I need to work that out. Two seconds guys. So we dump this in here, right? There's our, our drift stuff. What does the PSU requirements of these have? Exciting Starship stuffs. PCU. So, I could get away with that. Personal crime unit. Mm -hmm. The personal crime unit. Um, it's where Lyco was attached, I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, My chair is literally falling apart as I said it. This is good. Uh, this is great. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's definitely something. Right. Let's give the Azure Flare. You all should be able to see the Azure Flare, right? Or not? I guess. Let me just edit that so you can all actually deal with that. Save. Here we go. So the rich mm. man from Castleville has a big yacht. So a uh, blah 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 blah. That is fine. And then, right, you should be able to see if you click on that. You uh like weird and zig. Should we really edit this now? So for its a power system, where are we? How the hell this works is interesting. Make and model size is medium. And let's see, because I don't think it's actually going to be that long. So divide by three. Right? So. It's only going to take you like two thirds of a day to get there. Which isn't bad, to be honest. It's pretty good. So what's that, 16 hours? Yep. Cheating. So I've had a shortcut. Well, technically Thanida would be flying this, right? But yeah, you've definitely um, plotted the route for yeah, her. I'd be telling her how to do it. Yeah. Whether or not she'd be listing is addressed, but yes, you Weird definitely explaining. did. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Weird explaining. Uh, <laughs> No, weird. No. <laughs> we know it's Tanida. Um, very much so. Uh, as you just put weird in for all of the things. Um, <laughs> Not pilot. Nope. I left that one blank. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like we're just going to put Zig's name in there so he's got a job. Um, Yay. Yeah, she went to add janitor. <laughs> wow! What Help is him. a rat? <laughs> I'll put Isabel as the gunner, right? Toxic Avenger? That would actually kind of work with the radioactive shit. Oh, that is reasonable, right? So if I do that, bam. Yeah, Toxic Avenger. Everybody should have, um... I should be able to see this. Right, so we've got Captain Thanida, Engineer Weird, Pilot Zig, Science Officer Weird, and uh, Isabel the gunner. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, wherever it says whatever the the engine rating is on this, Alex, like feel free to put it in as um, the signal major. Okay, uh, and then also Rating. have a. I 
guess whatever else you need to know the fact that it's got a shuttle, maybe. Um, so sorry, it's got a drift rating of three. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Drift rating three. Uh, Maneuverability. Oh, yeah. so that Tokyo Drift. Yes, the Tokyo Drift rating of three. Uh, and everything else that comes with that. We're good. Going to just say it is based on an. That's probably say Explorer. I think that's probably the best. It probably would be an Explorer model, which is on two nine five. If it helps, if you need more information. <laughs> Maneuverability is good plus one. Good. <laughs> that sounds more like a pat. No, uh, yeah, pies. No, this is pies. Who am I thinking of? Hell Green. That sounds more like a fucking thirteenth Space Age. Hmm. My movement stat is good plus one. Yeah, it's like <laughs> some of the um, parts of a uh, the system are very questionable. Very questionable. I'll just dump this underneath, like in a, a very. They will system. never compare to the use of probably in an actual fucking. It's so good. Sort of dead I is still one of my favourites. It's so good. It's, it's glorious. <laughs> mm. By the way, so nonsense aside, you just get there. You're sure gonna get there in. Um, uh, what was it? Sixteen hours. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so what do we? What type of ship do we say it was? Uh, it's an explorer. Explorer. Okay. Yeah, I put it all in Starfinder yep. General for you, like the last two images. Uh, let's see. So yes. help. Engine rating. Thank you. And a. Uh, that is a two. I just feel like this guy would have spent money on this, right, to get to people fast for meetings and his whining and dining and all that shit so I think that's maybe where he spent all the money on this ship besides the uh, <laughs> chef who I guess you know is possibly the most qualified science officer here right Cecil um, uh, no I managed to break him <laughs> oh dear uh, but yes so based on that use both um slide into drift space as we slide into our break quite frankly oh. no. and I slide them to your oh, DMs ladies you oh my right? okay. no, no, no. <laughs> so if you want to slide into our DMs so you can uh, hey I'm the DM no <laughs> you can subscribe to the highest level Patreon <laughs> as the DM I refuse um, <laughs> rat so, uh, goodbye everybody until part two. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.